Hi everyone, welcome back to Technon Tech TV. In this tutorial, you will learn about basic loop in PLSQL and also I will show you its practical implementation. So let's start. Loops in PLSQL provides a way of repeating a particular part of any program or any code statement as many times as required. So in PLSQL, we have three different loop options to choose from when we want to execute a statement repeatedly in our code block. They are basic loop, while loop and for loop. So in this tutorial, we will learn about basic loop and will cover while and for loop in our upcoming tutorial. So let's get started. Basic loop or simple loop is preferred in PLSQL code when you want to execute the loop body at least once or you are not sure the number of times you want the loop to execute. So this basic loop statement consists of a loop keyword, a body of executable code and the end loop keyword. The loop statement executes the statement in its body and returns control to the top of the loop. Typically the body of the loop contains at least one exit or exit when statement for terminating the loop. Otherwise the loop becomes an infinite loop. So let's see basic loop with exit statement. The exit statement allows you to unconditionally exit the current iteration of a loop. So typically you use the exit statement with an if statement to terminate a loop when a condition is true. So this is the uh, syntax for this. Let's see the example how to use the loop statement to execute a sequence of code and exit statement to terminate the loop. Running large programs from the command prompt may land you in accidentally losing some of the work. So it is always recommended to use the command files. To use the command files, first type your code in a text editor like notepad or notepad plus. So let's write the program. I'm using notepad. First declare and initialize a variable counter to 0. Second increase the counter by 1 inside the loop and exit the loop if the counter is greater than 3. If the counter is less than or equal to 3 then show the counter value because the initial value of counter is 0. So the code in the body of the loop executes 3 times before it is uh, terminated. Third, display the value of the counter after the loop. Let's save the file. So I have already created one folder on desktop. Now save the file with the .sql extension. Now launch the sql plus command prompt from the directory where you created your plsql file and type at the rate file name at the sql plus command prompt to execute your program or we can simply write uh, at the rate and copy the file path and paste it in the sql plus command prompt now type backslash and your file name and hit the enter button here we got the output now let's see basic loop with exit when statement so the exit when statement exits the current iteration of a loop when the condition in the when clause is true. Essentially, the exit when statement is a combination of an exit and if then uh, and if then statement. So each time the control reaches the exit when statement, the condition is evaluated. So if the condition evaluates to true, then the loop terminates. Otherwise, the exit when clause does nothing. So inside the loop body, you must make the condition true at some point to prevent an infinite loop. So this is the syntax. So let's see an example for this. So this was the uh, example program for basic loop with the exit statement. I am editing the same program. So we know exit when statement is a combination of uh, an exit and if then statement, right? So what I will do is we just have to remove these three lines. So instead of these three lines, we'll add only one line. Here instead of if and exit statement, we'll write exit when statement so this is logically equivalent to the example that we have used for exit statement so it will give us the same output the different here is instead of writing if and and statement we'll simply write one line of code so let's run the program here we can see we got the same output so that's it for this video 
If you found some value in this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos.